Go ahead. Hello, this is Jim at Car Masters Automotive. We had a couple customers that said they didn't understand how a working coolant temperature sensor uh, could still have a car that's overheating when there's a coolant leak and slowing coolant. We've set up here, we're using a, a torch to simulate engine uh, internal uh, combustion for heat. We have a pan that we're going to use for uh, just like as if it was the engine with heat on the engine. We've got a temperature sensor here that is in the engine but not touching the bottom just like your coolant temperature sensor goes into a coolant jacket. And we're going to use a laser temperature gun to get the temperature of the uh, the bottom with the heat on it from the from the torch which is simulating combustion. And then we're going to put antifreeze in it where you can see the difference between the temperature sensor with and without antifreeze. Okay, if you look at the temperature on the uh, on the gauge right now, now we're going to put heat, heat torch under the, the bottom. And if you see the gauge over there, it's barely going up. But now look at the laser temperature gun. The laser temperature gun is already... Um, get on top of it. It's already uh, 160 degrees and climbing. It's like triple the temperature over there, 78. We got 174. Go ahead and put some coolant in there now. Watch in case it blows. Put coolant in there now. You hear it sizzling just like a hot engine. Now look at the temperature. 153 degrees, almost the same temperature as a laser temperature gun. That, that's why if you lose your coolant, the engine can be overheating and you wouldn't even know it. You're doing damage because there's the, the coolant isn't there to flow across the sensor air transfers heat a lot slower than liquid so if you have a coolant leak you need to repair it or when the coolant gets too low you're damaging stuff and your gauge isn't going to show you even when the gauge is working